All right, here's an exercise on soldering. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solder on top of this solder joint and just keep building solder on top of solder. It's a good little way to practice heat control. So this is an ah, this is an appliance I made. I guess it was for a video. I'm not quite sure what the story is on that. But there it is. I'm going to put some flux on there. And this is my nickel silver alloy solder, silver solder. It has nickel, it has silver. And some other stuff. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to heat this up with the flux melt. And I'm going to add just enough heat to melt the solder on top of that solder. Whoop! Oh, it's moving. Now I'm going to melt some more solder on top of that solder and some more solder on top of that solder and the goal here is to give just enough heat to barely melt the solder it's just an exercise in heat control nice thing about this solder that we have here is it's got a little more uh, a little higher melting point than solders than the typical solders that are usually about somewhere around 60 percent solder 56 something like that see it holds a little more heat but it does melt real nicely and it polishes up real nicely let's just see how far I can keep going here Now, the techniques that I show in my video, I really call soldering kind of a two-step process. One is wetting the solder joint. I think in one of my videos I call it sweating. <laughs> I sweat. <laughs> the, the solder joint wets. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you wet the joint and then you add the bulk. And when you add the bulk, add just enough heat to barely melt the solder you're melting solder onto solder once the wetting the wetting is where the strength comes from now if you don't know what I'm talking about I've got uh, by now I've got several videos on this in fact I have a playlist on soldering just check that out and you'll see all my videos where I talk in depth about soldering and wetting and melting temperatures and alloy concentrations or contents and all that stuff so just an exercise here to see how far I can build this up and when you're learning how to solder heat control is one of the big deals and this is a good way to practice heat control uh, I put flux on my solder every now and then it just kind of helps it out but you can see I'm building it up fairly tall there uh oh <laughs> That black on there that's uh, from the brush <laughs> I, I melted some of the brush on there so that's a contaminant uh, you don't want that in your solder joint but let's see if I can solder it anyway okay pull that off oh by the way uh, I've been making these videos every week I've taken a few weeks off like a couple weeks for Christmas and a couple weeks for Thanksgiving I think something like that I forget what but anyway uh, I'm not gonna obligate myself to weekly videos anymore I'm just gonna make videos when I feel like making videos the weather's getting nice and it's starting to cramp into my golf game so uh, I don't want you know, I'm semi-retired I don't want that to happen so I will be making videos when I feel like it and subscribe you'll be notified when a new video comes out and uh, click on that little bell thing it'll it'll give you a little sound on your phone when they come out but there you go you see what I'm doing it's just heat control once you wet the solder joint you've got the strength of the solder joint then you just melt solder on top of that and once the solder melts into the solder you can see here that is solder melted into solder once you get that uh, once you get the wetting done you got the strength and then the rest of it ow that's hot melting the solder onto the wetted solder
<laughs> about to burn the lab down here. Once you melt the solder onto the wetted solder, you've got quench it there. You got a strong solder joint. I mean that that is strong, and so then you can just melt this solder onto the wetted solder and build up your bulk. Cover all the wires, cover the ends of the wires, and once you totally encase the wires, you got a very strong solder joint if you've got it wetted well. All right, that's it for this time. Like I said, I won't, may or may not see you next week. I don't know. I'll see you next time I make a video. So take care. Bye now.